Harby Town was originally settled by the Harby brothers from Cornwall. For some years they'd worked in the copper mines over at Munta. The Munta copper mines were starting to falter. They were no longer as profitable as they were in its earlier days. So the Harvey brothers overlanded from Munda to the Bendigo gold fields. The part of the Bendigo gold fields that they eventually settled in was where we're sitting now, Harvey Town. And Harvey Town in its heyday housed three to 4,000 people, a community of its own, independent of Eagle Hawk, had its own hotel, the Lady Barclay, halfway between Harvey Town and Eagle Hawk. The gold mines were all around the place. Obviously the Cornishmen were miners, most of them, that eventually settled here in Harvey Town after the original Harvey Brothers. In the early days on Bendigo, of course, as I have pointed out, there were a number of Cornish people, and most people will be aware that the Cornish were overwhelmingly Methodist, and this was mainly because of the work of John Wesley in Cornwall. But here in Bendigo, the first religious service is said to have been held by Jimmy Jeffrey who was a Cornish Methodist, and he, st he stood on a stump at a place where the Golden Square Methodist Sunday School now is. He preached, he sang a hymn, and he found that he was surrounded by quite a, a number of Cornishmen who were looking for some way to express their themselves in their religion. Uh, the church uh, to uh, a lot of people around Long Gully, irrespective of the denomination, was that it was the centre of their, their activities. I mean, I say that's where uh, you had your tea meetings, that's where you met people, that's where you could sing your songs, you could let your, well, I would say you let your hair down. A lot of women went along there to, to look at the uh, other women's hats to see how they were dressed, but that wasn't the main thing. It was the centre of their uh, uh, their culture, and uh, uh, so it meant a place where they could meet, and meant very important to it. Of course, some of the churches, or many of the churches that were built in the first years, were not large enough to take the congregations which grew, and these grew mainly in the 1870s, as the Cornish came in greater numbers to work the mines which were opening in greater numbers. Um, some churches were just built onto, but other, in other cases they built a complete new church to take the place of the one that had been there before. <laughs> 